In this video, you'll learn more about the features of Zotero, including editing entries, deleting duplicated items, and how to use an online account to share research with others. Once you've started importing items into your library, you'll notice that not every item will import perfectly. You may need to edit certain elements. You can do this by clicking on the item that needs editing, and then clicking on the element that uh, you would like to edit. So you can see here I am editing the title and I'm capitalizing the words in the title. So this adheres to the MLA format um, and so if you need to make corrections based on a certain citation style, uh, this is how you would do it. And when you want to save, you can just go ahead and click away and your changes are saved. Uh, this is really helpful if you need to add a DOI, a URL, um, an issue number, a page range, or anything else to your uh, citation. If you do this on the back end, anytime you cite this item, it'll be correct. As you do your research, you may also find that you have accidentally saved a few sources twice, especially if you're doing searches in multiple search tools. To clean that up, you can click on the duplicate items tab under your library and you can see the items that have been duplicated. Once you click on the title of one of these items, you can choose which version to save. And if you find that you want to save a certain version, you can merge the two items. They'll be removed from your duplicate items and you can just go find them in your library. If you're doing research on multiple computers, or if you want to collaborate with other researchers, like on a group project, you will want to create a Zotero account. You can create one by clicking Log In on the Zotero homepage. If you don't have an account, you can click Register for a free account. I'm just going to go ahead and log into mine to show you how it works. Once you're logged into your Zotero account, you will see your library synced in the web app. Um, and you can go ahead and save things to your online library. So you can see I've clicked on my Zotero connector. It's telling me that Zotero is not running. If I haven't installed Zotero on this computer, I can just click Enable Saving to Online Library. You can see that this article is saving to Zotero. So once I've saved that, I can come search for that item in my library and you can see that it has been saved and there is a PDF of that article. Once you reopen Zotero, you can go to Edit, Preferences, and Sync to make sure that your online library and Zotero library are synced. You can see that I've linked my online account. You will have to link yours once you create a new online account. So all these settings are correct. I'll click OK and you can see that the item that I imported online is now in my Zotero library. Once you create a Zotero account, you can also create groups. Groups are helpful for collaborating with other researchers. You can see that I have one group which has three members. And if I wanted to create a new group, I could just go ahead and click create new group, choose a name for that group, and then you can choose the group type. Probably private membership is going to be appropriate for most group projects. Okay, once you create your group, there are a few more settings to deal with. Um, I'm just going to leave these as is, click save settings. Next, if I go to the member settings, I can go ahead and send invitations to the other members of my group who I'd like to invite. So just go ahead and add those email addresses separated by a comma, click invite members, and your group members will be able to add to your group library. There are so many more features and functionalities in Zotero. Go ahead and explore the tool and the documentation and reach out to the Fulton Library if you have any questions. Thanks.